I have the honor and the privilege of singing the anthem every single year for opening day. There's something very special by standing right next to my dad and looking up to him, as I always have. You look at Kane, you know, and I watched him grow up. You never thought that would come out of his mouth, the way he sings, but man, it is beautiful. And his rendition of the national anthem is spectacular. It's a little bit of a flashback every time he sings or talks because the voice is just pretty distinct. If you shut your eyes and just listen to Kane talk, you would think you're talking to Harry Callis. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Harry not only was a gift to us, he passed on gifts. And he passed on his gift of a young man who we heard sing so beautifully last night. Please help us welcome Kane Callis. The Phillies are really good at sort of honoring their past and keeping people involved. And the fact that Kane has decided to come back and engage with us is fantastic. What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. When he comes back here on opening day, I think you have that recollection of who Harry was and and that he's always going to be remembered. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. The first time I saw and heard Kane sing, I should not have been surprised, I guess, because he's Harry's son, so obviously he can carry a tune. But when he came out with that basso profundo and, and just barreled out those lyrics, I thought, this is so special because it's not a copy of Harry. It's part of Harry. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. He has been embraced by the city. The Flyers had Kate Smith, they have Lauren Hart. And to an extent, the Phillies now have King Callis. You could hear a pin drop when he sings. It's just the most beautiful voice. There's something about that tradition, understanding the, the history with the Phillies and who his dad was and what he means to the fans. Yeah, I'd never want an opening day without him. Well, I think Kane carries on his father's tradition, and I think that he brings it to a younger audience and a new group of people. Harry was such a legend. His voice, just when you hear it, you're instantly taken to a happy time, and I feel like that's the way it is when Kane sings. I think the Phillies hit a home run with that. Oh, say does that star-spangled To be honest, there's no other city in the world where I could be doing this and, and have that effect. It's really the Philadelphia fan who has that special connection to sports and of course to my father. Even if I'm on stage performing something else or in studio performing, it doesn't have the same feeling as being next to my dad at the ballpark, which just brings back these memories. You know, that's, that's just, it brings me back to my childhood. It brings me back to not only being with him at the stadium, but, but hearing his voice when he wasn't there, right? When I was at home watching the game and I could just turn on the, the television and hear my dad. And when Kane sings the anthem and when you hear him sing, I, I can see Harry, I can hear Harry. And, and that voice, it's in the family. And the home of the brave.